One of my favorite parts about Super Mario Odyssey are all the costumes that Mario can wear in the game, which he can get through the stores with regular coins or purple coins alongside with being unlocked through the story mode. While they are mostly just purely aesthetic, with some being required to get some moons, they're very nice to have as options to make running around the kingdoms just a bit more fun as well. Since we just got done ranking all the costumes in Mario Maker 2, I thought it would be fun to do the same but for Super Mario Odyssey. First, let's go over how I'll be ranking them. I decided to do it based off of three main factors. One, and most importantly, how the costume looks, of course. This is obviously the most important thing in deciding if I'm going to wear this or not. Two is how unique the costume is from the other costumes in the game, which is pretty self-explanatory. And finally, is if the costume has a cool reference. Most of the costumes in this game are based off stuff from Mario series past, and I'll make sure to bring up every single reference for every single costume in this video. Of course, not every costume has a reference, but some do, and that will factor into the ranking. Two things that aren't factors are how hard the costume is to get, and how useful it is for getting moons. To me, both of these things really don't matter, since none of these are really hard to get at all, and just getting one or two moons from these doesn't really matter that much. Also, unlike the Mario Maker ranking video, I'll be combining the hats and suits that go together, so for example, the Luigi hat and suit will be ranked on the same spot, as opposed to being separated. Also, this list is just my opinion, so it's perfectly okay to disagree. Before we start, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you enjoy the video, it'll help a ton if you subscribe, and you can always change your mind later. Well, with that being said, there's 58 costumes to rank, so let's jump into my ranking of all the costumes in Super Mario Odyssey. First off are the Diddy Kong suit and hat. This just looks super bizarre with just how it's designed. It's obviously based on the Donkey Kong character Diddy Kong, and while he himself is fine enough, his design just does not translate well to Mario. Especially with the ears here, because wow, these ears look awful. So for its really bizarre and pretty gross design, it will easily take last place at 58. This is a costume you will never see me using outside of this video. The Satellaview costume is up next for honestly just being a worse version of the spacesuit. There's pretty much never a time I would want to wear this one over the spacesuit, just because it looks off. As the name implies, it's based off the Satellaview add-on for the Super Famicom, and while the reference is solid enough, the outfit to me just doesn't look that good. It's certainly leagues above the Diddy Kong outfit, since Mario has normal ears here, though it's still not good, which gives it number 57 on the list. The classic outfit is by far the most bland outfit in the game. It doesn't look bad, but there's never a reason to choose this over Mario's far better looking default appearance, or really most of the other costumes. This is based on how Mario's overall and shirt colors used to be inverted in the older titles like Donkey Kong. Again, the reference here is I guess solid enough, but this is just a super boring recolor, and sure, there are plenty of other recolors of his overalls, however, they all look significantly different, which make them all worthwhile, so I'm putting this at 56. Also, wouldn't it have been so much cooler if instead of this color scheme, they went with the original color scheme from the original Super Mario Bros? I mean, it's just way more different than this one ended up being, so I would have rather had that instead. The next four are the Brutal costumes. Like Diddy Kong, these look weird to me. Not nearly as weird as Diddy Kong, but still weird enough to where I probably will not be wearing them. Each of these are also obviously based on their respective Brutals, so my order for them are Harriet at 55, Spewart at 54, Rango at 53, and finally Topper at 52. Now we're onto the costumes that don't look terrible and are really just okay. Starting us off with the Conductor outfit. This look is just not for me, and while yeah, it doesn't look bad, it's just fine at best. It's based off of some artwork from Mario Paint, but yeah, this one isn't one I'd personally wear, but it's not one I'll bully someone for wearing either, so it takes number 51. The employee uniform will start us off here in the top 50. This design just looks a bit too distracting during gameplay with the mismatched colors and the tall hat. It's obviously referencing what the people who work at the Crazy Cap stores wear. This is a bit better than the Conductor outfit in my opinion, but not by a lot, giving it number 50. Now this next one really saddens me to put so low, but I think I would be lying to myself if I put it any higher. But I think the caveman outfit is going to have to be next. The reason this pains me so much is of course because Drybones is a part of it, and as we all know, he's the best Mario character, Drybones for Smash. But this just does not look good. The hair here really ruins it, which makes the Drybones part only really useful to me on costumes that don't get this hair. It really pains me that they had to put my boy on this costume, but hey, at least we get to play as Drybones in this game by capturing them in the Moon Cave and a few other places, so that makes up for it, I guess. Oh yeah, also this outfit is apparently based off some comic strip, but come on. We all know the real origin of this costume. But yeah, since this just doesn't look great, it's going to have to take number 49. The Hakuma is probably one of the most forgettable outfits in the game for me. This is our first costume that is only one part, as it doesn't have a headpiece to go with it. 
There are three hats and three suits like this in the game, and the other five are all pretty iconic, but this one is just kind of there. It doesn't look particularly bad, just not that great. This is based on some artwork from the 2016 Club Nintendo calendar, which is a source for quite a few of these costumes. Still though, for being extremely forgettable and not particularly good looking, it will take number 48. The clown outfit is a deep dive into what someone can become when broken by society. A truly tragic outfit indeed. But in all seriousness though, this outfit looks really bizarre in gameplay, and the only reason it's this high is because I like this image here more than I should, so that gives this a huge boost. I couldn't find any origin for this costume, so I'll just stick with my society game theory, putting this at number 47. The sailor outfit is just kind of lame, not particularly sure why, I'm just not a fan, specifically of the hat. I again couldn't find a reference for this costume, so that definitely doesn't help it in the rankings as well. It could maybe possibly be based on how Donkey Kong was originally going to be a Popeye themed game, and he is obviously a sailor, however I think this is just original, I don't think that theory's correct. So though, it's just okay, giving it 46. The happy outfit's design just never really did it for me. It's another quite forgettable outfit, and the only real use for this is that it's the only headpiece that was the closest thing to Mario not wearing a hat, but still, it's pretty obvious. This is another unfortunate one without an origin, so while that does knock it down, it still looks good enough and better than the Sailor, putting it at 45. Next up is the first of the wedding trio, the bridal gown based on Peach's wedding dress or the Lock Lady dress from Lake Limode. This was made specifically for Mario's unique build, and while he does look quite nice in it, it's not my style, giving it 44. The Santa outfit looks decent on Mario, however the mismatch of the mustache, hair, and beard colors just kind of look weird to me. Had all of them been the same color, this may have been higher, but as it is now, it just looks off. This again was based off the 2016 Club Nintendo calendar, where he also has the same colors for the hair, which makes sense I suppose. So even though this is a decent outfit, the way it looks is just a bit weird to me with the hair giving it 43. The baseball uniform is up to bat next. I do like the design of the main outfit quite a bit, it's just the helmet is what I have issues with here. Like, I know some baseball helmets are actually like this, but I get really annoyed by lopsided stuff like this. If it had this ear thing on the other side as well, that would have boosted this up a lot, but I just can't say the way it is now, I like it that much. I couldn't find an origin for this one, but Mario has done a lot of baseball in the Slugger series, and I guess home run contest in Smash as well, so while he never wears the suit, he is somewhat associated with the sport. So for having a lopsided helmet, but a really nice looking uniform, it will take 42. I think this is the point of the list where I feel like the good costumes really start to roll in, kicking us off with the samurai outfit. This is another one based off the 2016 Club Nintendo calendar. This costume was actually also shown off on a shirt Miyamoto was wearing during the Tonight Show before Odyssey's formal announcement besides the original Switch unveiling, so I'll always remember this costume for that. So for it being a pretty solid looking costume, it'll take 41. The pirate outfit is Mario dressed up in a classic pirate attire. I like how this looks, though when he rolls, it does annoy me a bit how far it spreads out, but other than that, it's a pretty good costume. The closest thing I could find for this one as an origin is that Mario can wear a pirate uniform in Mario Party 2's Pirate Land, though the costumes don't really look that similar besides the hat. Still though, it's a solid costume, giving it number 40. The Scientist Mario outfit is another one that gives him hair, however I do like this one better than the Caveman outfit. I do like how this one looks quite a bit, and it's based on an old commercial for the Super Game Boy, which is a really neat reference, giving it 39. Oh yeah, it's also based on Rick Sanchez. The swimwear has Mario obviously in swim gear, and something I really like about this costume is how Cappy's eyes appear on the goggles like this. I'm not sure why you like it, I just do. This is our final costume based on the 2016 Club Nintendo calendar, and it's in my opinion the best one, giving it 38. The spacesuit is obviously an essential outfit since Mario's traveling in space, even though he doesn't need air to breathe. This Sometimes? But anyways, this is an obvious addition, and I like to wear this while on the moon. The only thing is, I don't really like wearing it anywhere else though, which knocks it down a bit, but it's still great for the moon kingdoms. This may be loosely based off Mario's spacesuit from Super Mario Land 2, so for being a solid outfit for the moon kingdoms, it'll take number 37. The snowsuit is a very similar situation for me, where I like to wear it while in the snow kingdom, but not many other places. It still looks nice, but I mostly keep it to that area. I couldn't find an origin for it, but it still looks nice, giving it 36. The racing costume is up next. I just think this is a pretty solid costume all around. I also like all the brands that are attached to this costume, which are brands from Mario Kart 8, which are all super neat references, like Mario Kart TV and Mario Motors. 
This costume as a whole might be based on how he looked in Famicom Grand Prix 2 3D Hot Rally, though it's a loose resemblance at best. Still though, the numerous Mario Kart references bring this up to 35. The painter's outfit looks pretty nice and is based on the cancelled Mario Paint sequel, Mario Artist, and some artwork from Mario Paint itself as well. I like this costume quite a bit, but one thing that always confused me is why is it found at a Luncheon Kingdom purple coin shop? Unless I'm missing something, it really doesn't make sense to be here in the food area. It just, it doesn't really fit, but that doesn't really matter, giving it 34. The next two are based on New Donk City Citizens, being the Musician Suit and Black Suit. Personally, I prefer the Black Suit as not only does it look better to me, but it was also done first. The Musician one was added in as DLC, which kind of makes it pretty lame DLC to be honest since it's basically just a recolor, but it still looks nice putting it at 33, and the Black Suit at 32. The Captain's Hat is our second solo costume and our first solo hat of the list. This is obtained after activating the Odyssey in the Cascade Kingdom and flying off to the Sand Kingdom. This is the hat worn by speedrunners most of the time since it's automatically equipped and is worn throughout most of the playthrough up until the Moon Kingdom. I'm happy that it does look very nice, though it does get a slight bit tiring to see all the time though, and I'd much rather see Mario's default look more often. Still though, this is a good looking costume, and the closest origin I could find to this was Mario's Game Gallery, which was the first game Mario was voiced by his now voice actor Charles Martinet. So for its good looks, it'll take number 31. Now we've made it to the top 30. These are really the outfits that I like to wear a lot while playing the game, so let's jump into them, starting with the Aviator outfit. I just like this one's design and rundown look quite a bit. It seems to be based on Mario's outfit while in a plane in Super Mario Land, so for a good reference and design, it'll take number 30. Starting off the second half of the list, we have the Sombrero and Poncho. This one is perfect for the Sand Kingdom, and I really like the unique solo that you can do for its moon, which is pretty neat. It's also based on a very obscure title for the Game Boy called Quix, which is really neat. Also, this costume caused some controversy or something, which is just really stupid and unwarranted, so that doesn't even matter, which means I'm putting this at 29. As its name states, the fashionable outfit is very fashionable and looks good on Mario. It's another pretty obscure reference being based on a Japanese new Nintendo 3DS commercial, and I really like the obscure references like this. With its good looks and fun reference, it takes 28. I like the colors and design of the mechanic outfit quite a lot. The hat being backwards is also a pretty nice touch as well. This one is definitely based on Famicom Grand Prix 2 3D Hot Rally. The racing suit was just kind of loosely based off it, but this one is definitely its source. I'm just a very big fan of this design, giving it number 27. Bowser's tuxedo is of course based on his wedding outfit, and while it doesn't look quite as good on Mario as it does on Bowser, it still looks pretty nice. I also find it pretty funny how Bowser compliments Mario when he wears his outfit saying it looks nice on him, boosting this up to 26. Our next three are based on the three other overall wearing Mario characters, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. While yes, these are mostly just recolors, I do like how all of these look a lot and they're all distinct unlike the classic one earlier. In my opinion, the worst of the three is Luigi's. I do of course like it, but the overalls are just way too dark for me and aren't really the bright ones I would prefer. Sure, while Luigi's are dark too, but I feel like a bright blue just fits Luigi's color scheme a bit better, so I decided to give him 25. It still looks great though. While Luigi's is up next, and I really like this color scheme on Mario quite a bit. This is also, to my knowledge, the first time Waluigi has even been referenced in a mainline Mario game, which is pretty crazy to think about. Hopefully he'll be able to get in maybe in Odyssey 2 alongside Wario, but as of now, this is definitely a good start, putting this at 24. My favorite one though is definitely Wario's. I just really like how colorful it is, and I like how yellow looks on Mario quite a bit here as well. While Mario may not be as dummy thick as Wario, he definitely is still able to pull off the colors, putting this at 23. The golf outfit is a pretty popular outfit due to being one of Mario's alternate costumes in Super Smash Bros. It, however, is based on his outfit in NES Open Tournament Golf. This outfit does of course look very nice, so for being a quite iconic outfit and for looking nice, it'll take 22. The King outfit is received after clearing the Dark Side of the Moon's boss rush. I think this is definitely a pretty fitting reward and looks pretty nice as well. I couldn't find an origin for this, the closest thing I could find is the crown worn in 3D World's multiplayer mode, but it's a completely different design. Still though, this is a nice reward since it looks good, giving it 21. Onto the top 20 starting with the football uniform. I just really like this outfit's design, and Mario's number being 64 is also a neat touch. This goes well with New Donk City, since there's a lot of footballs to kick around there. This could be based on charging chucks, though I'm really not confident in that, but either way, this gets number 20. The knight armor goes perfectly with the Ruined Kingdom, so I'm really happy they decided to add this in as DLC. 
It's got a nice look, and even though it's not really based on anything, its design is good enough to put it up at 19. The chef suit looks great on Mario and is the perfect thing to wear in the Luncheon Kingdom. I'm just a pretty big fan of its color scheme, and it's also got a decent reference being based off his appearance in Yoshi's Cookie. All this combined places it at 18. Now we finally reach the funny haha -ha meme outfit, the boxer shorts. This is another piece of clothing that's by itself, and it does of course look pretty nice, and it also did spawn a meme category where you have to try to get it as fast as possible, so that's nice as well. This is based on the Play Nintendo Summer 2016 wallpaper. This is a pretty solid costume giving this 17. I know a lot of you would probably want me to put it higher, but I think this is where it belongs. The cowboy kicks off what I think are the top tier costumes. It's a very good looking costume, and it's especially fun to use while riding on a jaxi, making it a perfect one for the Sand Kingdom shop. Like the pirate outfit, the closest origin I could find for this costume is Mario when he's on the Western Land map in Mario Party 2, though the resemblance is very loose at best. Still though, it's a great looking outfit, putting it at 16. The Doctor's outfit is such an extremely obvious costume for the game, but one that I love regardless. I'm sure everyone here knows its origin, being based on Mario's clone Dr. Mario first seen in Super Smash Bros. Melee. I've always loved this look, so I'm going to put it at number 15. Hopefully in Odyssey 2 we can get one based on the unlicensed Dr. Alt for Dr. Mario, since that's clearly the superior look for the character. Now you all may be weirded out by this, but I decided to put Mario's default appearance up here on the list. This may seem high to a lot of you, but I mean I love Mario's normal design a lot, and it goes without saying that it looks good on him, so yes, I'm gonna put this up here at number 14. The black top hat and suit I've always really liked the look of, and it works great with many kingdoms like of course the Cap Kingdom and the Metro Kingdom. This actually is a different origin for each piece, with the top hat coming from the cover of Mario All-Stars, and the tux coming from some more Mario Paint artwork. I think it's really cool how it was able to combine two different sources like that, and on top of that it looks great as well, which makes it take number 13. The zombie outfit definitely feels out of place when compared to the other outfits, but in a very good way due to how torn up Mario's outfit looks. I really like how this looks a lot, and this was probably the DLC outfit I was most excited for. I always liked how the hat is an axe, so you can pull an Animal Crossing and start axing random civilians. One thing I noticed about this costume though when getting footage for this video is that it uses a lower polygon and sharper version of Mario's hair. I'm not sure if this was intentional, I know that it's supposed to be darker, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be modeled like that, which now I can't unsee. It's not a problem at all though. This outfit is based on my zombie Joey on my Minecraft server, which is pretty neat, so this will take number 12. The Metal Mario suit is based off the metal cap from Mario 64. I'll go into more detail into why I like this costume later, but for now, just know that I like this costume's looks, just not as much as a similar one later on, putting this at number 11. We've at long last made it to the top 10 costumes. Starting off the top 10, we have the gold Mario outfit, which is based on how Mario looks after getting a gold flower. I really like how this looks, and it works well in most areas. However, sometimes the way it was done does make it look kind of weird in some areas like the Lost Kingdom, so I decided to put it at number 10. The Sunshine outfit is a great callback to something Mario could wear in Super Mario Sunshine. I absolutely love how relaxed and chilled out this costume is, and not only that, the Cappy Sunglasses combo is amazing and works great with many other costumes besides just this one. I'm super happy that they decided to add this one in as DLC, surprising that it wasn't actually already in the game, but I'm happy it made it in regardless, putting it at number 9. Mario's wedding outfit is definitely the most iconic alternate costume from Mario Odyssey. It's part of the main story as well, being automatically equipped after reaching the Moon Kingdom. This outfit just looks perfect on him, and I really think they nailed the design here. I was really excited when this was added to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as an alt for Mario, even if it was at the cost of Fire Mario, which I think was dumb, but whatever. For this being an amazing looking outfit, this will take number 8. The Invisibility Cap is quite possibly one of the most unique costumes in Mario Odyssey. This makes Mario completely invisible, which can lead to a lot of fun new challenges, like retrying different areas when you can't see Mario. Even though this doesn't really change gameplay at all, not being able to see Mario basically is an extra challenge, which brought this up a ton. This is obviously based off the invisibility cap for Mario 64, and is the perfect reward for completing the darker side of the moon, giving this number 7. The Explorer outfit is just one I really love wearing in all the kingdoms when I play. Its design is great, and it's just a perfect outfit for what Odyssey is about, exploring. This is based off Mario's design for Mario's Picross, and I'm really, really happy they decided to bring it over here, giving it number 6. The final 5 begin with the Resort Outfit. I can see this one maybe being controversial, but I don't care. This one is just so extremely chill that I absolutely love it. Like the Explorer Outfit, this works in most kingdoms for me, and of course we can do that little dance for his moon, so that puts it at number 5, despite not having a reference as far as I can tell, which doesn't matter because it just looks perfect. 
I've always been a huge fan of how Builder Mario looks, so I had to put the Builder outfit up here. This is of course based on Mario and the Mario Maker series of games, which is a series I love to death, so I'm happy it got representation here. It's the alternate costume I use in Smash Bros whenever I play Mario, which is pretty often since he's my main, and it's probably the costume I've used the most here in Odyssey as well. So for being based on the Mario Maker games and looking great, it takes number 4. The skeleton suit is such a cool one that turns Mario into, well, a skeleton. This is the first costume on the list that costs the maximum amount of coins, 9,999, but I think it's absolutely worth the price. It's just such a fun costume that looks really cool and unique, so I have to put it up here on the list. This may be based on how Mario looks when he's electrocuted in games where his skeleton gets exposed, so for being creative, it'll take number 3. The other 9,999 coin costume is the 8-bit Mario hat, and come on, how could you not love this costume? This one is so goofy where he doesn't have any animations, but instead is just stuck like this when you move around, which is hilarious. Just playing as him is super incredibly fun just due to how he moves. This is based on Mario's original 8-bit sprite, or more specifically, his 8-bit modern Mario amiibo. This is probably the most unique costume next to the invisibility cap in the game, so for its fun way of moving, it will take number 2. If you haven't guessed it by now, easily my favorite costume in Super Mario Odyssey is the Mario 64 outfit. This is absolutely the best reference out of all the costumes in the game, giving Mario his original look from Super Mario 64. I was absolutely ecstatic when I found out about this costume, because Mario 64 is one of my favorite games of all time, and being able to run around my actual favorite game of all time as that classic model was just so cool. Its costume area is also by far my favorite as well, being based off the courtyard area from Super Mario 64, looking better than ever, but maintaining its classic look. They really didn't have to do this much, but they did, and I'm all the happier for it, making this easily my favorite costume in Super Mario Odyssey. But anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, maybe even subscribe for more on Super Mario Odyssey and anything else Nintendo Switch. The only reason I'm really able to make this video is because the last Odyssey video performed way better than I could have expected, so if this one also does well, I'll be super excited to talk more about this game. I really love talking about Odyssey since it's my favorite game at all. Links to my Twitter and Discord are in the description. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.